Welcome to Halton's Fix It 101. Today we're going to take a slight different direction. We are going to talk about this. Now this is the Pentax MV. See you in a second. Welcome back. Now, this is the Pentax MV, as I said in the intro. Now, this camera has um, got a bit of nostalgia to me, but we're quite lucky here today because I've not only got this camera that's facing me here, but I've also got the camera facing me up there. So we can get a closer look of what we're doing, actually doing here. Now, as I said before, this is the Pentax MV. Now I'll get it out of the case. As you can see, it's a bit battered and everything else. But I'll get it out. And it's an old SLR camera. Now, as I said, it's a bit of nostalgia for me because this is the very, very first um, Pentax or a, a, a first SLR camera that I ever owned and I was very very pleased of it at the time because I was you know, I had one over my mates and everything else they was coming out with these like point and shoot watch the settings sort of cameras and here I was with a camera that you could actually remove the lens on and I, I thought I was the bee's knees at the time because I had a camera that could you know removable lenses and I have got some removable lenses for it it's just the fact that i just cannot find them um i only found this really because i was clearing out uh, my uh, my parents attic and there it was all from all those years ago so it, this is taking a little bit of a pride in you know pride of place in my home now on the shelf and it's on display now because it reminds me of where I came from because you know with what with the modern technology with uh, DS DSLR cameras and uh, mirrorless cameras and everything else everything is sort of like but this one particularly it takes a you know special place in my heart because it was my first camera and it's uh, it's nothing DSLR about it or anything like that it's a very very much the about going back to the old 35 mil film days you know where we used to take the take the things and take them into your snappy shops and get the uh, things developed hoping that when it comes back that you have you know a half decent shot it's not like mem you know your modern cameras that we got it now where if we take a rubbish shot then we'd be able to simply just erase it and off we go but uh, you know it you know there's, there's lots of little things about this that that you know it took me back you know having to like wind on the uh thing you can see that there at the center i dare say you'd be able to see it up, up there as well there's the uh there's the um up there and it has iso settings and everything else eight what they call them asa settings on here that are just marked just there so you know there's there's different things about it it took a dedicated flash I did used to have a flash for it, but I, I really don't know what I've done with the actual flash now. So uh, it, it seemed to have gone missing. There's several things that I had for this that's actually gone missing over the years. But, it, you know, you, you could, I got this iris piece and everything else, so it capped over my eyes, even though I had glasses. But, you know, I still got glasses. But, you know, you, you took this out of here and uh, you pulled that like that and it popped out so you had you know put put your film in and behind and like i said it was uh, 35 mil films and films at the time that i used to use um they were either 100 um, isos or they were 400 isos and i used to use 400 more i used to find a better photograph 
um, with 400 ISOs when I was uh, indoors fo filming or you know photographs or anything like that. But it comes with this rather nice little uh, 50 mil uh, lens, and uh, it, it's it's a weird sort of PK mount. Um, with a with a mirror in the back that used to flap up and flap back down again, and uh, it was it was good at the time, you know. It took some very 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 nice pictures, um, you know. And, and the good thing about this particular one was um, that it had inside the viewfinder here. If you put it on the auto setting, um, used to have its a very very own little light meter, and used to set the set the, the the settings on here because it's got 22 to 4.8 2.8 or something like that on on the, on here uh, you can see it on the above um camera there they used to we used to set that to the right until the outcome green in your viewfinder and then you used to press the button and used to take the photograph it was simplicity in itself but the weird thing for me now is the fact that we, here we are we're, we're, we'll press the button like that and we'll wind it on with the winder. That used to be so, so, it's, it still is so, so weird going back to that. But it had some features about this that, you know, were, were you know, good at the time. You know, I had an auto setting, as you can see on the above camera there. I had an auto setting and it had a 100x setting, which was corresponds with the X that's on the top of the for the flash and then it had a B setting I never ever used the B setting because it was one of those that you hold down the hold down the uh, the, the shutter release and when you released it then it released the actual um, mechanism on the inside but the thing is this still works and if I was to have a 35 mil um, film to go in it that maybe I might have even tried out tried it out again but it's going through all the process now of, of going to your snappy shop getting it all um, you know developed and everything else hoping that you're going to get a decent photograph back so you know it's one of those things that you know like I say it, it's a nostalgia time for me and you know it will always be a place in my heart so um, there we go, the Pentax MV. Just a quick video today on uh, on this thing. And, uh, you know, I will see you next time. But uh, in the meantime, if you have any comments, uh, post them in the link down below. And um, if you have, you can contact me on the usual social media channels. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.